big opportunity for Levon Makishvili and Mark Adiba to make their imprint. Long considered one of the top featherweight prospects in mixed martial arts, Levon Makishvili finally makes his UFC debut tonight against Mark Adiba. Winner of all but one of his pro bouts, the Hornet will be taking on a stiff challenge in the Filipino standout, but with solid wrestling and knockout power in both fists, he is ready for his move up to the big show. Hailing from Bagyao City, Wushu Sanda specialist Adiba has garnered a strong fan base following his two UFC bouts against Juma Beck Turson and Kevin Souza. And you can expect a huge pop from his loyal Filipino fans when he makes the walk here tonight. Coming up next, Levon, the Hornet Makish Vu, faces Mark Adiba. Well, this man has deserved to be here for some time. Finally, the UFC debut has arrived for Levon Makashvili. You know, it would have arrived in February. He had a fight scheduled against Nick Lentz, and really it was canceled at the last minute when Lentz fell ill. So Makashvili was there during fight week. All systems go, ready to make his UFC debut. Delayed a few months. To the Bud Light tail, the tape for this one. The Filipino Mark Adiba taking on the Georgia native Levon Makashvili. Both men five foot eight inches tall, a slight half inch edge in the reach department for the newcomer, Levon Makishvili. All right, to get us started now with the introductions, as we kick off the main card, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from Manila, Philippines, for UFC Fight Night, Edgar versus Tabor. And now, this first fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist, holding professional record, nine wins, one loss. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Oceanside, New York, USA, Levon the Hornet, Marcus Valley. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Wushu Sanda fighter, holding a professional record, six wins, one loss. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Bagua City, Philippines, Mahidiva! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Terry Hill. Best seat in the house belongs to that man, our referee, Terry Hill. The beautiful Ariane Celeste helping us usher in this new market as we hit the Philippines for the first time. And what a pop here when Mark Adiba was announced. No touch of the gloves, we're ready to go. Adiba wearing the red. And Levon Makashvili in the green. Makashvili extremely confident in this match. When I talked to him about Mark Adiva, Makashvili responded with, I will do as I please in this fight. Doesn't believe he's just going to be good in the UFC, believes he will be great one day. Yeah, not short on confidence. And for Mark Adiva, really seems to have the, the perfect disposition for a career in mixed martial arts. There is some pressure on him here tonight, kicking off the main card in his native Philippines, but he's a very composed young man and figures to rise above it. He trained a lot of wrestling in this training camp, obviously be Makashvili coming from a wrestling background. However, when I asked Mark Adib about all the kicks and then possibly using takedowns, he said, well, Makashvili doesn't wrestle much in his fights, so he's going to open up with him and he'll see what happens from there. And Makashvili so far not looking for the takedown. Got to be careful giving Mark Adib this much space in which to operate. Many of you probably know the name Levon Makashvili. He is making his UFC debut. He was scheduled to fight Nick Lentz in February, but Lentz fell ill. The fight didn't happen. It's Mark Adiba shooting for the first takedown of the fight. An outstanding defense there for Makashvili. Defensive wrestling, one of the trademarks of the Hornet, who now trains out of Oceanside, New York. Nice reversal there in the clinch by Adiba. Not an area he generally likes to fight in. This is a guy who loves to be at space where he can unleash his strikes. Oh. There you just get a look at the power of Makashvili. 
and you got to question the decision of Mark Adiva to stay in the clinch there against a guy who's wrestled his entire life. It's exactly the style of fight Makashvili wanted. This is the kind of grinding style that can slow down a diverse striker like Mark Adiva, slow his arms down, build up a lot of lactic acid in those shoulders. Watch the groin, watch the groin, keep it going. Don't hit him back, both of you. Makashvili replacing Alex White in this spot. He was forced out due to injury. Adiva does a nice job reversing position, but right away Makashvili clenches his fingers together so that Adiva can't escape. Stop. So Terry Hill not seeing enough action. We go back to the center of the octagon now midway through round one. Adiva's tried his hand at two takedown attempts now. Has not come close if he starts to unleash now with the strikes. Such a buzz in this arena right now with the Filipino in the octagon. They are just waiting to erupt. Well, Diva landed a nice right hand there, followed by a left kick. And that left side kick is fast. Diva goes to the level change, and he's got to try and escape this clinch here. Both men have finished the majority of their professional wins. Mark Diva, plus 325 underdog here tonight. He is used to that distinction in the UFC. Well, he's doing a decent job avoiding the takedown here in the clinch, but having a lot of difficulty separating, getting out of the grip of Makashvili, who you see right there, really just muscles him down to the floor. All power there, so Makashvili working out of the half guard here with just over 30 seconds now to go in round one. <laughs> Diva definitely doesn't want to end the round on his back here. Does a nice job using that underhook to get back to his feet. Makashvili's got a nice front headlock here. Followed by a good right knee. You know, you see, as soon as Adiva rotates over his back away from the fence, Makashvili clenches his hands together so that Adiva can't get away from him. Makashvili does not want this fight to take place in the center of the octagon. All right, strong first round there. The next Saturday night, 10 in the east and 7 in the west. All right, back on our way now, round two, Levon Makashvili in the green. The Filipino Mark Adiva's in the red. Adiva's got to take advantage of the opportunities he has when this fight's not taking place in the clinch. Got to put more volume out there. Use those side kicks to keep his distance. Too often, Makashvili's able to get this fight in the clinch and just really control Mark Adiva, out-muscle him, land some nice knees, and complete two takedowns. Marcus really trying to get inside behind that left hand. Diva still trying to figure out how best to attack Makashvili. And he's very concerned with finishing his combinations and being too far inside and getting back in the clinch. Makashvili does a nice job of engaging there and forcing it. Now back exactly where Makashvili wants his fight. A much better job, Diva. They're breaking the clinch, getting back to the center of the octagon. 
Normally, Levon Makashvili lets his hands go much more than he has tonight. Shows the respect he has for the striking of Marco Diva. Three minutes to go in round two. The Diva still trying to find his range. Makashvili is getting very comfortable just counter striking, very low volume this round. Halfway through, and although Adiba hasn't landed anything significant, he's by far been the more active guy, and you just got to be careful with how that could play out in the judges' scorecards. Adiba with authority to that lead leg of Makashvili, but as soon as the distance is closed, the oh, pendulum massive, swings towards the Georgian. A massive fence grab there by Mark Adiba. Makashvili able to get him down anyways, but... A warning just isn't enough in a situation like that. You almost need to then stop the fight and put the fighter on his back and let it start from there. Yeah. Less than two minutes now to go in round two. Makashvili working inside of Adiva's guard. No attempt here so far from Makashvili to posture up and really get some power on these ground strikes. The Diva's trying to get a grip on that right wrist, maybe set up a triangle choke or possible omoplata. A huge missed opportunity there for Makashvili. He finally gets it on the mat, doesn't posture up and land anything with power, gets the fight stood back up on the feet. I think Terry Hill likes striking, though. Must. All right, just over a minute out of going round two. This is a very different challenge than Mark Adiba was expected to face tonight in the form of Alex White. Adiba lands to the body. Diva doing a much better job here in round two, fighting out of that clinch, not allowing Makashvili to control him. See if either one of these guys tries to put an exclamation point on this round. And it's really a, a, a close round to score. The Diva's last UFC fight almost a year ago. Fight of the night at the Ultimate Fighter Brazil season three finale against Kevin Souza. Second round winding down here. Oh, nice combination there from Makashvili to end the round. Okay. Don't be, don't be tentative, just go for it. Just let your hands go. Just listen, just don't let your, yourself get stuck in the corner. Just move inside and do your thing. Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Let's win this round. Fox Sports 1 UFC Fight Night, Edgar versus Faber is sponsored by Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. Third and final round, Marka Diva trying to come up large here in the Philippines. I like the advice in the corner of Makashvili telling him, hey, let's transition and go for some single legs. They don't believe he'll have the ability to defend them. Instead of just looking to take him down from the clinch. Nice 
defense there from Mark Adiva. Makashvili was in deep as he changed levels, went in for a double, then attempted an outside trip. Outstanding balance there from Mark Adiva. He's an outstanding athlete. And the takedown defense certainly has been there tonight, but overall, pretty good game plan for Makashvili. Again, eliminating the space in which Mark Adiva has to operate. Especially coming in on short notice. That's never an easy thing to do. Adiva able to get right back up to his feet. Some, some big improvements in the game of Mark Adiva, who came in, obviously, Wushu Sanda, primarily a striker with a limited takedown capacity. Each fight you watch on tape, Adiva is improving. Really pretty relentless when it comes to this ground attack. Certainly. He knows where he could score the most points in this fight. He's trying to ground a diva, but a diva continually is getting back to his feet. Makashvili is getting him down, but failing to really get in a dominant position to where he can control him. Another takedown for the Georgian. Nice adjustment there for Makashvili. He had the back. Shifted his grip and his hits, and now he's in full side control. Excellent technique there for Makashvili. Makashvili 9-1 coming into this his UFC debut, and his camp was supremely confident that they had what it took to beat Nick Lentz. Of course, that fight didn't happen when Lentz fell ill, but certainly making the most of this opportunity tonight. And he was adamant in telling me that one loss, he came back to beat the guy. And when the gentleman beat him, yep. he went in with a broken thumb and broke his foot early in the fight. So, Yeah, avenge that only pro loss with a five-round triumph four months later. Much better job by Adiva in this fight, working back to his feet. Makashvili telling us he cut his wrestling career short to be a neighborhood tough guy. He's an octagon tough guy here tonight. Under two minutes now to go in round three. Makashvili's definitely up the output here in round three. Starting to let his hands go a little bit. You know, you never see the best of a guy in their UFC debut. There, there's always a certain level of experience and comfort that you gain through time in the octagon and when you watch previous fights in Makashvili he's got some nice combinations really overwhelms guys with pressure these unorthodox kicks in a short time to prepare for him have certainly messed with the, the usual output in the striking arsenal of Makashvili Adiba once again working hard to stay upright I'll tell you what, there, there's times where his technique isn't correct to defend these takedowns. He's doing it on sheer balance, but they're a great adjustment for Makashvili and gets the slam with authority. Yeah, so the takedowns continue to pile up for Levon Makashvili. He has muted the masses here in Manila. Now, he's failed to really capitalize on some of these positions, though, and, and land some significant strikes from top. And a lot of that is just due to the scrambling ability of Diva. There he bellies down, and he's already fighting his way back up to his feet. Really forcing Makashvili to focus on control before he can focus on any ground and pound. Well, nice strikes landed here, though. Adiva looks like he's still got plenty of gas, but again, just hard to let those hands go when Makashvili continues to close that gap. So you got to give him a lot of credit. This is a guy who has not been wrestling his entire life. The ability to continually get back to his feet, that is exhausting. So the crowd a little bit disappointed here. Both fighters raised their hands, but Levon Makashvili doing what he wanted to with Mark Adiva here tonight. We will get to the official decision after this as UFC Fight Night continues live. All right, we now go inside the octagon where the venerable Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, Makashvili. 
29-28, Ediva, and 30-27 for the winner by split decision, Levon the Hornet, Marcus Billy. So a Banner UFC debut, Levon Makashvili, a winner by split decision. You know, there's always some craziness in the scorecards in the UFC, but rounds one and two were, were, were pretty close rounds. Round three was the most dominant of the fight, I thought, for Makashvili, who had a hard time controlling Mark Adiva, who made some, showed some massive improvements in his own right. But Makashvili was relentless with his wrestling and got it done here tonight. All right, that brings us to the move of the fight, sponsored by Metro PCS, where you can get unlimited data, talk, and text for just $30, period. And it was really all about the takedowns for Makashvili. Wasn't able to capitalize on them too much and get a whole lot of ground and pound going, because Adiva did such a good job of getting back to his feet. But these were the moves that I believe won on the scorecards for Makashvili and ultimately got him the victory. All right, what do you think will be the best move of the night? Tweet and let us know at hashtag Metro Move. And tune in to the UFC post-fight show on Fox Sports 2 for the winning move.